Yo, what's going on, guys? And today we'll be talking about Jamichael Green. So, Adrian Ward's announced game. Sean Sharani have both tweeted that our man Jamichael Green is going to be going to the Golden State Warriors once he clears waivers from this buyout with the Oklahoma City Thunder. And I thought, why not? Let's talk about our man Jamichael Green, the man he's played for the Los Angeles Clippers, the Grizzlies, the Nuggets, as well as started off with the Spurs after, you know, he actually started with the Clippers, Spurs, then Grizzlies. Then he went to the to the Clippers, then he went to the Nuggets. But this is a guy, he's had 40% three-point shooting years, 38%. He's had years where he shot 33%. He's coming off of a year where he shot 26%. But this is a guy who's probably going to be filling in as the Nemia Belitsa role. So with that being said, I want to hear your thoughts down below. If you guys agree with me, do you think he'll take those Nemia Belitsa minutes? Nemia played about 16, 17 minutes a night for 71 games in the regular season. Yeah, he, he didn't play as much in the the playoffs but he did have some big moments in the playoffs that i think he was a big part of it and i think he's going to take that role if you guys did not know jamichael green's a power forward but also a small ball five he plays some center he was honestly the i guess unofficial backup center last year for the denver nuggets as they had boogie on 10-day contract but besides that like they on multiple 10-day contracts and they brought him near the end of the year it was really just Zeke Nanje and mainly Jamichael Green backing up Nikola Jokic. And Jamichael Green even played a lot of center over went back in his Clippers days. So he's a guy who, for them, he's going to come over, be able to actually be a backup center. And this actually gives them the backup center that they need behind James Wiseman and Kevon Looney. He's going to be technically the, the quote-unquote third center. But I honestly think for the start of the season, until James Wiseman proves himself, Jermichael Green's going to be ahead of James Wiseman on the depth chart for serious games. They're going to, in any blowouts or anything, they'll play, you know, our man, James Wiseman, more. But, dude, I got to take off my shoes. I want to tell you guys that right now, as I take off my shoes, 6% of you or subscribe with notifications on actually subscribe with notification temp i think it's like 15 percent of my subscribers have those but of all my viewers which i've had 350,000 views in the past month six percent of those are subscribed okay we're on the way to 10,000 we're almost at 8,000 right now you should go over there my feet are musty as shit that's why you gotta wear socks either way back to the golden state warriors and people are probably left the video but or commenting you're nasty I'm grimy as a gooch, baby. But either way, once we're talking about Michael Green, he's going to come in. He's a guy that at least if he shoots 34%, whoo, baby, that's exactly what they need from him. And for me, I look at a guy like Michael Green, okay? This is also the second time I'm recording this video. I recorded this video once, and guess what? My mic wasn't turned on, you know? Pretty mad. And I do truly believe that having a guy like Michael Green, all he needs to do is at least average four rebounds a game four to six rebounds a game okay six on the high side he needs at least average you know six to nine points a game i don't want to shoot close to the third at least 34 closer to the 38 percent if you can average similar stats the nemia bilalito which was what like four rebounds a few assists a game shot 36 almost 37 percent from three shot 46 percent from the field i believe like just play efficiently come in stretch the floor be able to switch between power forward and centers jamaica green can actually go up against some wing players some slower footed wings in my opinion so i think a lot of people are going to be surprised how they utilize jamaica green because they i don't in my opinion they don't they haven't had a a big man truly like jamaica that can like jamaica's kind of in a way a very like he He's kind of a mix of Kevon Looney and Draymond Green in a weird way. Like, I'm not saying at all that he's similar, but if you took their skill sets and you mix them together, I you kind of get Jamichael Green. He has the size. He's bigger than Draymond, but he, he's a little taller, just a little taller than Kevon Looney. He's got a better shot than either of them from three-point, but he's... He's got the interior defense. Like, I actually kind of buy into this. Yeah, he's kind of a... Weirdly, he's kind of a similar... He kind of fits their their big man profile, like, oddly well. And for me, I think Jermichael Green, again, an oddly perfect fit that I really... 
the more I think about it, I'm just like, this was just a, a like a really good pickup that not a lot of people outside of the basketball community are going to give them credit for. But he's going to be a guy that in a year's time when he hits free agency again, because I assume he's going to sign a one year deal so he can get paid. People are going to be like, how did you Michael Green just look that freaking good? But I think that's the video. Bye.